Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, green triangle uh, BEC fully inscribed in a rectangle uh, ABCD as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, angle uh, BEC is uh, 45 degrees. This side length uh, of this uh, rectangle uh, is uh, 6 uh, units whereas uh, this uh, segment uh, ED is uh, 2 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And now let's focus on this uh, rectangle uh, ABCD. It's uh, one of the side lengths uh, is uh, 6 uh, units. Let me label uh, this uh, side uh, E A as uh, X uh, units. Then uh, this whole uh, length uh, A D is going to be X uh, plus 2. So I can write uh, X uh, plus 2. So thus the side length uh, of uh, this uh, rectangle A B C D turns out to be 6 uh, and uh, X uh, plus 2. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, rectangle A B C D. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length uh, times uh, width. And in our case, our length is uh, 6 and our width is uh, x plus 2. So therefore, the rectangle ABCD area is going to be 6 uh, times uh, x uh, plus uh, 2. And now let's make an observation. We can see that the base of this uh, green uh, triangle is same as the side length of this uh, rectangle ABCD. And likewise, uh, the height of this uh, green uh, triangle uh, is same as the other side uh, of this uh, rectangle. So therefore, we conclude that the area of this uh, green uh, triangle uh, BEC is going to be equal to a half times the area of this uh, rectangle ABCD. And we know that the area of this rectangle ABCD is uh, 6 times uh, x plus 2. So therefore, I'm going to replace uh, this uh, by 6 uh, times uh, x plus 2 over here. So therefore, we can write uh, 1 divided by 2 times uh, 6 uh, times uh, x uh, plus uh, 2. And if we simplify this thing, that is going to give us uh, 3 times uh, x uh, plus uh, 2. So therefore, the area of this uh, green triangle turns out to be 3 times x plus 2. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EDC whose uh, side lengths are uh, 6 uh, and uh, 2. So we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me call this uh, longest leg as our side uh, C. I'm going to call uh, this side lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. A in our case is 6. So this becomes 6 square plus uh, b is uh, 2 square equal to c square. So therefore our c square value turns out to be 40. Let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore our c value turns out to be equal to and now let's focus on the right hand side square root of 40 i have copied it down and if we simplify that is going to be equal to 2 times uh, square root of 10 so therefore c value turns out to be 2 times uh, square root of uh, 10 and we can see that this uh, side length uh, c is same as uh, this uh, ec length so therefore our this uh, ec side length turns out to be 2 times uh, square root of 10. And now let's focus on this another right triangle uh, EAB. And we can see that this uh, side length AB is going to be same as uh, this side length uh, CD since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle. So if this is 6, uh, then this side length is going to be 6 units as well. Let's go ahead and apply the Pythagorean uh, theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem uh, once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me call this longest leg as side uh, c. I'm going to call this side uh, lowercase a and this side uh, lowercase uh, b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. a in our case is 6. So 6 square plus b is x. So x square equal to c square. And now in this next step, uh, 6 uh, square is same as uh, 36. 
Now let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking square root uh, on uh, both uh, sides. So therefore our c value turns out to be square root of uh, x square plus uh, 36. So thus our this uh, c value turns out to be square root of x square plus uh, 36. So therefore this uh, eb length uh, turns out to be square root of uh, x square plus 36. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green triangle BEC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, A times B times uh, sine of angle C. As you can see in this uh, triangle, we got A and B our side lengths and C is the angle uh, between them. So therefore our side lengths are uh, these ones and 45 degrees is the angle in between them. So therefore let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So a half times we got two times square root of 10 times square root of x square plus 36 times sine of angle 45 degrees. And now we know that sine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 divided by 2. So therefore I'm going to replace sine of 45 degrees by square root of 2 divided by 2 over here. As you can see in this uh, next step. And here we can see this 2 and 2 is uh, gone. And now let's go ahead and multiply square root of 10 times uh, square root of 2. And if we multiply these uh, two numbers, uh, they can be simplified to 2 times uh, square root of uh, 5. So therefore this could be written as uh, on the numerator is going to be 2 times the square root of uh, 5 times uh, square root of uh, x square plus uh, 36 divided by this uh, denominator 2. And here we can see this 2 and 2 cancel each other out. So therefore we are ended up uh, with this uh, square root of uh, 5 times uh, the square root of uh, x square plus uh, 36. So thus the area of this uh, green triangle uh, turns out to be square root of 5 times uh, square root of uh, x square plus uh, 36. And we also know that the green triangle area is uh, 3 times uh, x plus 2. And now let's go ahead and uh, compare these uh, two equations since uh, they are uh, the area of the green uh, triangle. So we can equate the right uh, hand side. So therefore we can write uh, 3 times uh, x plus uh, 2 equals to square root of uh, 5 times uh, square root of uh, x square plus uh, 36. And now let's go ahead and uh, take a square on uh, both uh, sides. I'm going to square this left hand side and the right hand uh, side uh, as well. So therefore the left hand side could be written as 3 square is 9 times uh, x uh, plus uh, to whole uh, square equals to here square and square root is gone and this uh, square root for this one is gone as well. So therefore we ended up with uh, 5 times uh, x uh, square plus uh, 36. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus uh, b square. We are going to apply it uh, on this uh, binomial. So therefore uh, left hand side could be written as 9 times uh, x square plus 4x plus 4 equals to now let's go ahead and distribute uh, this uh, right hand side so therefore this is going to become 5x square plus 180 now let's go ahead and uh, distribute uh, this uh, 9 all over so therefore this is going to be written as a 9x square plus 36x plus 36 equals to 5 x square plus 180. Let's go ahead and move these terms to the left hand side as you can see in this next step. And now let's go ahead and combine the like terms 9 x square minus 5 x square and plus 36 minus 180 as you can see in this next step. And since this equation is divisible by 4 across the board so I'm going to divide each and every term by 4. So therefore we are ended up with the x square plus 9x 
minus 36 equal to 0. So thus we are ended up with this quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring. So therefore let's focus on this middle term 9x. Let me go ahead and tweak it. I can write this one as 12x minus 3x. As you can see in this next step, now we can see that x is in common between first two terms and in this next two terms negative 3 is in common. So therefore we can write this one as x times x plus 12 minus 3 times x plus 12 equal to 0. And now we can see we have x plus 12 and x plus 12 is in common. So therefore we can write this one as x minus 3 times x plus 12 equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and split them. I can write this thing as x minus 3 equal to 0 and the second equation x plus 12 equal to 0. And for this uh, first equation, our x value turns out to be positive 3. And for this uh, second equation, our x value turns out to be negative 12. And now we can see that x represents the side length, so it cannot be negative. So therefore, we are going to reject this uh, negative value of x and we are going to accept x equal to positive 3 value. So our x value turns out to be positive 3. And now let's recall a green triangle area that we figured out was 3 times x plus 2. So let's go ahead and replace this x by this 3 value over here. So therefore our this green triangle area is going to be 3 times 3 plus 2. Turns out to be 15 square units. So thus the area of this green triangle BEC turns out to be 15 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.